particularly young kids, uh, wanting me to share some hints and tips on batting. So I thought I'd share uh, a few with you. Uh, we'll share one today and I'll share another one in a few days time. So I wanna talk about the two swings, the two authentic swings I think that each player has. So I think you've got your, your good shake swing where you use a lot more of your top hand and your second swing is where you've got using a lot more of your bottom hand and you're trying to smack the ball. And they're the two authentic swings I think you've got. So with your first one with your top hand, I think one thing that is neglected a lot is your feet and the way of which your, your feet are pointing. So for me, as a kid when I, when I grew up, I was taught to point my foot in the direction I want to hit the ball. So if I want to hit the ball straight back past the bowler, my foot needs to be pointing in that direction. Why? It enables me to bend over my front foot and get my head over the ball and bring my bat through on a nice plane. I think a lot of kids and even professional players nowadays neglect to bring their foot around to that, um, to that straight line to, to enable the bat to come through. They keep their foot pointing towards cover in turn, your knee, when you bend and you transfer your weight, is bending that way. Your head falls over. It's hard to bring your bat through on a straight line on a good plane. You hit your knee, you play around your front pad, you get yourself in all sorts of trouble. You start nicking off because your, your bat's coming through on an angle. So it's important to get this foot nice and straight. I think uh, a couple of drills. I remember as a young kid, I used to set up cones one on leg stump, one on about middle stump, and one on uh, just outside off stump. And I practice with good shape, hitting the ball in the direction I wanna hit it. Getting my foot there and exaggerating that movement. Mid on, straight, mid off. I think if you're a bit more advanced, you can get someone to throw you balls and you're only allowed to hit them straight. You're only allowed to hit them straight back past you. Getting your foot in a good position and the person throwing you, throwing to you, can watch you, and if your, your foot's staying closed, they can give you feedback and say, no, no, that's not right. Get it back to, to nice and open. You're not allowed to hit the ball through the leg side as much as I love doing that, but you've got to just hit the ball straight, defending straight as well. Practice a few defensive shots. Do 30 defense, 30 drives, 30 defense, 30 drives, and then just mix and match, depending on the length. If it's a bit shorter, defend it. If it's a bit fuller, drive it. You can do that with the bowling machine as well, if you're a bit more advanced, but that's a great drill to, to I guess, get that muscle memory of your, your foot pointing in the right direction, helping your back come through on a nice plane, and it'll help you score a lot of runs down the ground. So there's the first swing. Um, hope you guys enjoy that. I'll share the second one with you in a few days time, and I hope to hear your feedback.